Looks like the trailer came unhitched. Sir, stay where you are. No, my trailer! Get out of the vehicle! Sheriff's office, step out now! Memo one. Now an operator, Dean Farmers, please. Uh, I need the police. Okay, so it's an nature emergency. Okay, so my brother came over and I trusted him because he said he's really good with computers, right? Well, he was trying to set up a uh, web page because obviously I didn't get my education. So he's trying to set up a web page for my biker, <laughs> for my biker thing, and. He spilt his snacks all over my keyboard. <laughs> uh, okay. He ruined my computer. <laughs> okay, so what's the location? <laughs> uh, Polito Bay. Um, I'm not sure which road. Just like the road right across from a fire station, like right at the right at the bend. And it's overhanging stilt building thing. Okay, so we'll run a uh, unit momentarily. Thank you for calling. Sir, er, bro, I can clean this up, like, right no, now. No, 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 mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. See, I'm picking it up. It's house. fine. Your, your I, computer's not ready. Get Sir, out this is of my, my house. Bro, John, this is my house. I will smack that funny look off your face. Well, take your computer with you. I cleaned up my mess, you clean up a your motorcycle. stupid mess. Where am I supposed to put this lab laptop at? Clear your browser history too, while you're at it. Okay. We don't want to talk about that, jerk. I don't know, I'll go. I'm leaking. Oh I'm sorry that I just spilled snacks. John, like, what's your problem, man? Really? <laughs> You serious? Uh, uh, now you're gonna drive into my garage door? Ow! One one, show me on scene. <laughs> what? 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 Hey, sheriff's office, sir! Turn the vehicle off. He hit me and I'm trying to chase him. Okay, chill out. Step to the back of my vehicle. Dude, I need to go get him. Sir, who's the individual that me. took off? My brother, John. Okay, what's going on? I don't know. I spilled, like, snacks on his computer after I was, like, setting up some sort of web page for a stupid motorcycle. Hold on, hang tight. Stay there, don't move. Stay there, do not move. 101 advise, I had an individual uh, take off from the uh, res. He's last seen heading northbound Pleta Boulevard. He's going to be on a motorcycle. I'm trying to catch him now. Advise, I have visual of him. He's going to be approaching the uh, discount store, northbound, Casco Avenue, Plato Bay, 10 6. Driver of the motorcycle, pull it over now. Out of context, yeah, that's not him. Or that's yeah. not me. <laughs> He's the wrong person. Wow. Look at. <laughs> Luke, I swear to God. <laughs> Disregard. One on one, advise, uh, disregard, false alarm. I'm be heading back to the uh, initial res. Okay, so it turns out to be uh, the wrong motorcycle. Have a seat at the front of my vehicle, please.
So what's going on? You said something to do with snacks. You spilling snacks on your brother's keyboard or whatever. Well, yeah. So he asked me to, you know, work on a website, and so he 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 came here with. Hold on, is that him? He was gonna. Yeah. That's hey, him. sir, step off the bike for me. Step over here. What? Okay, well, sir, right now I need to talk to you. I'm conducting an investigation. Step over here for me, please. Yeah. Okay, stop. Turn around. Face away from me. Uh, why? I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, well, sir, like I said, I'm conducting an investigation. Okay, to my knowledge, you took off when I pulled up on scene, okay? Why, why doesn't he have handcuffs on? Okay, well, because right now it seems as if he's a victim in this situation, sir. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Listen, there's one of me, two of you. Okay, so obviously I don't want this to escalate to somewhere where it doesn't need to go. Buzzkill. Oh. Alright, stay there. Okay, as I'm searching, what do I find? I find a switchblade, a revolver, and a wallet. Okay, so right now I'm placing handcuffs on you. You're not being placed in arrest, you're just being detained for the moment. Do you understand? Uh, sure. Alright, have a seat at the back of my uh, squad card. And what are you doing with a revolver? Any particular reason uh, for that? I own one. Okay. Do you know the rules own one. regarding uh, owning a weapon? Uh, yeah. What's the rule? Funny story. Um, I don't remember it. Okay. Rule is, whenever you're in contact with law enforcement, sir, you need to advise them immediately that you are in possession of a firearm. Alright. Do you have any form of identification on you? Is it in your wallet or... Yes. Yes, sir, it's in the wallet. Okay. So, what's your side of the story? Uh, all I was trying to do... Brought it over to... I brought it over here... And I was trying to get him to work on it for me. Uh, I was trying to get him to set up a website because he was down for it. I was willing to pay him money for it to help for him to help it or, you know, help create it. And he got his stupid fruit gushers and he spilt them all over my keyboard, got all that gooey crap inside of it. And now it don't even work. Okay. That's a $300 laptop. He told me to get out of a house. So, I went onto my bike, and he got close to me, so I hit him. <laughs> you hit him with the bike or something else? Uh, with a stick. With a stick? Yeah, like a plastic stick. Like something you take off the end of a lightsaber. Okay. Like a fake lightsaber, like the ones for kids. So where did you hit him with that exactly? Uh, I don't recall. I just hit him and drove off. Okay, so did you not see me uh, pulling up? No, sir, I did not. Okay. All right, you have any warrants or anything like that? Not that I'm, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Just hang tight. So, he stated something about um, a stick coming to play. Can you tell me about that? Or a uh, plastic... The plastic part of the lightsaber. Uh, I don't remember that. I I thought he just hit me with his laptop. He closed his laptop up and hit me. Hit me with it. Um, uh, he hit me That's in false. like my shoulder. Hey, sir, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that, okay? I hit him with a stick. It's on the ground. Okay, so are you willing to press charges tonight, sir? No, because he's my brother, and I just feel super bad about it. But I, and I don't want things to be different between us. Okay. All right, just. I I just wish it. it I would. I just wish it could have happened a different way. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run you guys just to see if there's any warrants or anything like that. If not, basically, just a little bit of education will do for tonight. Okay. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you, by the way? 
it's in my vehicle. Which one? Yeah, it's in my vehicle. Should be the middle console. Okay. Got snacks everywhere. Sir, I like snacks, okay? Alright, so I said tight. Alright. Sir, here's the deal. Yes. So your brother's not wanting to press charges, because <clears throat> basically, for one, he feels bad for what happened, which is understandable. Okay, but you can't, you still can't be hitting people with, uh, well, pretty much a good variety of things, especially plastic parts of lightsabers. Okay. Well, he st he still destroyed a three hundred dollar laptop. Sir, I understand that, but I understand what you did is technically considered assault. Okay, any form of physical contact that's assault. However, he's not wanting to press charges. Just basically, this is gonna, I'm gonna let you off a little bit educational, or education for tonight regarding the weapon. It is registered to you, okay, but whenever in contact with the deputy or any law enforcement personnel, you need to notify him of that. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, just sit tight. Let me talk to your brother. Okay. Alright, sir. So, like I told your brother, basically, um... Just... I'll let you guys off with just a warning. Okay, just... I would suggest not eating food or any snacks uh, when handling electronics. Alright? Because that could damage it in more than one way, so... And as you can see, your brother's not too happy with you. Um, but... I'm more than sure that, you know, your guys' relationship will rebuild. Just, uh, yeah, just don't be handling food and stuff around electronics, alright, man? Well, sir, I think, he, and I think another reason why he's mad is that his, his website URL had snack in it, too. It was like Los Santos Bike Gangs dot snack dot WS or whatever. I think that's what made him mad too. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's not really my business, but you know, just I would suggest talking to him about that. Oh, I'm I. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. So go ahead and stand up. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take these handcuffs off you. Here's the identification back. You're free to go. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir, go ahead and stand up. <sighs> Alright, same for you. I'm going to take these handcuffs off you, okay? The weapon is going to be at the front of my vehicle. It's at the front of my vehicle. It's unloaded. Do not reload it until I get clear of here. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Alright, you're free to go. Hopefully you guys can figure this out, man. Hopefully we don't have to be here again for tonight. Alright. Probably eating a damn snack and driving. <laughs> sir? You, uh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, sir, watch where you're going, please. Okay. Alright, come out of the middle of the road. Uh, oh, good day. Goddamn kids always eating just chocolate for gushers, Krispy Kreme, and all that crap. <laughs> One on one, show me code four ten eight. Nine one one. Nine one operator, new fire mess, please. Uh, police. Okay, so what's the nature of emergency? Uh, I'm in the back of a trailer. Uh, me and my other friend, we were biking, and this guy ran us or ran us off our bikes, and he uh tied us up a well. He didn't tie up very well, but he threw us in the back of his trailer. It's a white four-door saddler. I can't tell where we're oh. going. Okay, sir, uh, a deputy reported to a spot of vigil of you guys, if you could hang tight. 136, second you to respond oh for God. a uh, possible kidnapping. 
It's Hold gonna on. be a and me just fell out. It's gonna be a white two door correction, four door Sadler last seen heading plus ten twenty. It's gonna be uh southbound passing the sheriff's office, Great Ocean Highway. Pause real quick up. Fell out. M four one three six in route. Driver, stop the vehicle. <laughs> one one, that vehicle's failing. Actually, disregard. Okay, it's failing to yield at this time. He's swerving in and out. He's gonna be on the oncoming lane. Possibly gonna try to ten fifty into another vehicle or have medics on standby. Okay, they just made a right turn. We're back northbound Procopio Promenade, passing the lodge. 101 direct. I'm gonna have you go ahead and take primary. 10 4. Uh, be advised, suspects to me on the dirt road heading southbound. Correction, now on the main highway, heading south. The forest. Oh, the advised suspect just uh, went off the bank. It's now heading northbound. Oh, crap. Unknown location. Nope. One on one advised. Uh, be advised, suspect just. Oh, sorry. Advise, uh, one of the victims fell out. I'll uh, have medics in route that last 1020. Levi, still in pursuit, heading southbound. Oh! Looks like he just, he's jumping around. Oh, Levi, suspect just 1050 down the... Oh, looks like the trailer came unhitched. Sir, stay where you are. No, my trailer! Get out of the vehicle! Sheriff's office, step out now! Units, he's still mobile, he's still mobile. 136, I'm gonna be taken uh, in pursuit of that. Sir, stay right there. Oh! Hey, are you good? Yeah, I must have my helmet on. Me too. Hey! Sir, stop right there! Stop moving! I'm not gonna ask you again! I didn't do anything! Taser. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> On the ground! Hey, uh, Sarge, you wanna... Or, sorry, Lieutenant, you wanna go uh, check on the other individuals, I believe. Yep, they're still over there. So, what's going on tonight? You know the usual stuff. Why? What's the usual stuff, sir? Chaotic, running from the police, you know, this and that. Okay. So... Is that normally what you do, I assume? All the time. Are you some kind oh, of... No, no, I, no, I don't anymore. Nope. Okay, well, are you some kind of adrenaline junkie, or what's the deal with that? Because you nearly got everyone on the roadway killed, including yourself and us. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, sir, right now you're going to be placed on arrest for uh, kidnapping. Reckless endangerment, fleeing from the police, evading from the police. Okay, we're gonna get their side of the story and go from there, see if there's any other charges that we need to uh, lay. But for right now, that's what you're looking at, okay? You'd have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, then anything you say can only be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, won't be appointed to you by the court. You understand the rights I've read to you? Yep, All right. been through this a couple times. Okay, go ahead and step up. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. It stands you up. Uh, 
Sir, come on. Okay, I step to the back of the vehicle. Sir, I noticed you uh, fell the trailer there. You alright? Oh, right, yeah. Um, his mouth got sewn up, sadly. Sewn up? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's had... He had it sewn up. He before he was kidnapped. He had it sewn up because, uh, well, he had very sharp teeth and he liked to bite. So they so so that yeah, sewed it up. Wait, who sewed it up? Um, he got one of us in the gang to do it for him. He wanted it for his own protection. So that's, he can't talk. That's the first I've ever heard that. All right, okay, well, can we uh, get your side of the story since you're most likely with them? Oh, uh, yeah, him and I were just going down Great Ocean Highway just biking because obviously we're, you know, motorcyclists or bikers. And that guy just seemed to start honking at us beforehand. And so we're like, oh, okay, he, you know, maybe he just doesn't like bikers. Um, and then he rammed both of us. I mean, Good thing is, you know, we're wearing a helmet, so we just, you know, rolled off the hood of his uh, truck, and we didn't hurt anything, we didn't break anything, um, and then he kind of, well, he hit us with like a metal pole, and of course it kind of knocked us out in a way, even though we have helmets on, and he tried to bind us up, but he used like cheap wiring from like a dollar store. Okay. And then he just threw us in the back of a truck. Do you know why he basically wanted you to uh, kidnap you guys or hold you against your will? Uh, because we're motorcyclists and he obviously hates them. <laughs> More than likely. Okay. Well, all we're trying to do is cruise. That's understandable. Uh, he's going to be going to jail for a long time for uh, what he did. Okay, because there's... Kidnapping is a felony charge and uh, evading for the police as well. So he's looking at a couple of years, so you don't have to worry about him. Um, other than that, we're going to get medics here to check you guys out. Um, but yeah, we're glad you guys are okay. Yeah, you could have just jumped out at any point in time. But, yeah, could have hurt ourselves. But seeing the way he drives, like... You know, we're lucky he didn't hit an embankment. We just did a flip in the back of a trailer. Yep. <laughs> I agree with you. So. All right. Well, hopefully your friend uh, can eventually get his mouth unstitched. I mean, I see him uncomfortable. How does he eat? Uh, we put it in a blender, and we just feed it to him through a straw. He has, he has some holes, like, where it's big enough to put a straw in, so. It's our vet, or... <laughs> His mom chews on the food and spits it, <laughs> it into his mouth like a bird. Okay, sir. Alright. <laughs> it's it's kind of nasty. Alright, well, uh... <laughs> hey, at least he eats. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen. We're all glad you guys are okay. Alright. Well, have a nice day.